Today I have a quick review of a Kodak Instamatic 126 cartridge film camera. It's the Kodak Instamatic X15F. Uh, there's also a Kodak X15 minus the F. And Kodak made millions of these. This camera was produced 1976 through 1988. Back in the 70s, when you went to your photo store, you'd get a nice box like this. Oh, look at that. You'd get your camera. You'd get a, fla- a flip flash. By the way, F, <laughs> F, is, for f- f is for flip flash. Uh, you'd get your flip flash, and you'd get a roll of Kodak film, of course. Later on, here's a... Yeah, here's the 80s model. Couldn't you picture this kind of hanging in a local pharmacy on the rack, so to speak? This was the uh, version that came out. Notice they gave you nothing. There's no film. There's no flip flash. They really pared it down. This is an economy camera, but it still produces kind of cool, kind of great pictures. Problem today is that 126 cartridge film is not manufactured anymore. Here's what the film cartridge looks like. You'd buy this back in the day. And it would have either 12, 20, or 24 exposures. So what to do if you want to shoot with your Kodak Instamatic? Well, I'll tell you what I did. I bought an old cartridge, and I cracked it. I literally cracked it open. I gutted the old film. See, here's the... I gutted the old film, and I reloaded it with 35-millimeter film. And you could do that, too. You could check out my other video that kind of, exp- that kind of explains how to do it. <laughs> so I have this camera. This camera is loaded right now with some Schmina Color 125 uh, in an old cartridge. The camera has a 43-millimeter lens. It's F11 fixed. The shutter is one ninetieth of a second. So this is a, a camera that's designed to shoot in daylight or to shoot with a flash. I mean, let's talk about the flash. This is the F model. It uses what's known as a flip flash. So you have four four bulbs on top, and then when you're done shooting those, you'd flip it and then shoot the other four. The shutter speed is 1 90th of a second, but when you insert the flip flash, it is now 1 40th of a second. If you look at the camera from a design and usage perspective, uh, here is your shutter. You'd press that when you're taking your picture. Here is uh, your eyepiece. You'd actually look through it. I know when you go out and shoot and you, you know, sometimes you ask, if you're at a restaurant, you ask like a waitress, oh, can you take a picture of us? And you give them the camera and they're like, what do I do? <laughs> To the next frame, and uh, let's uh, take John's picture. Oh, by the way, the ideal shot is between 5 and 16 feet, so you can't get really close with this camera. And vistas are okay. You could shoot a vista with this, but generally speaking, this camera really shines at about 5 feet. One, two, three. And that's all that there is to know. There's a tripod socket on the bottom. And when I reload the old cartridges with 35 millimeter film, I tape up the camera because the cartridge is cracked and therefore you could get some light leaks. So to avoid light leaks, I take the precaution and do that. Here are some images I shot with this camera. My name is Michael Rosso, Film Photography Podcast. Tune in, filmphotographypodcast.com, the internet radio show for people who love to shoot film. And you could write to me, michael at filmphotographyproject.com, and we'll see you super soon. Shoot and have fun. <laughs> <laughs> mm.